Hi, welcome everybody. Thanks for stopping by here. We are talking watercolor design. Uh, this is another video in my design series. <clears throat> we all know that um, when we're looking at a painting, we we tend to notice things even if it's subconsciously. And we might say, oh, I really like that painting or, oh, I, I don't think I like that painting at all. Or there's actually many things you can do um, to your to the design of your, your watercolor paintings to make them look a lot better and more interesting for someone you might be painting um, a, a painting for that might, uh, someone might hire you to uh, create a painting for them, for their home or for their office, or uh, maybe you're just gonna make some watercolor uh, small cards for like birthdays or uh, holidays, things like that. So whenever you're creating a painting, uh, you can always use good solid design principles to make your paintings look great and fantastic and stay away from some of the pitfalls that maybe someone who doesn't really uh, learn about the design principles that go into uh, watercolor painting you'll have an advantage over um, let's say the people that don't study about design principles so here I'd like to share with you uh, my second design principle uh, that one would be um, eye stoppers now eye stoppers it's kind of a unique or different type of a phrase I haven't heard a lot of people use it that much but it goes back um, a lot of the books that I have in my library my uh, art library eye stoppers are essentially well let me let me show you what eye stoppers are instead of uh, continuing here okay so I'm just gonna take a piece of paper here just gonna tear a piece of paper off here Okay, eye stoppers are elements in your painting that will keep one's eye from drifting off your, your painting. So let's say your painting's on the wall of a gallery or a museum, or you have a competition, and your painting's on the wall, and there's a lot of other people's paintings there too. Um, if you were to, let's say, draw a line, draw a line on your painting like this, with an arrow and do this on your painting. If you painted an arrow on your canvas or your watercolor paper and you frame that and you put it onto a gallery wall, uh, chances are when people walk by your painting, their interest and their eyes are gonna go across the arrow and then over to the next painting. So they'll skip over your painting. They won't really look at it too long because they're they're seeing that arrow and that, that, that uh, movement of the the movement of that arrow going across your painting and that'll actually cause their eye to go this way and drift and their interest will sort of go to the to the right that way so now you can add what we call eye stoppers to your painting so if you let's say you were painting an arrow I'm not saying this is something you're gonna paint actually on your canvas but uh, just for for design for the idea of design let's say you are gonna paint an arrow well that could be an airplane or something really cool like that but in, in any event let's take a look at eye stoppers. Eye stoppers would be elements in your painting, let's say, that might cause the person's eye to stop along the arrow, direction of the arrow. So your eye would then, if you were to view this painting on the wall, let's say this is a painting, you would, your eye would go to this painting and kind of go here and then slow down and stop and maybe look at this. This could be maybe a telephone pole. Um, you know, you could have a fence here. So the idea is if you have small design elements in your painting that keep the eye from zooming off the paper with the, with the flow of what you're painting, whether it's a landscape or whatever you might be painting, if you can put some elements in your painting to keep the eye from drifting too fast and going off the painting, let's say, and then that, that wouldn't be good if you were, let's say, Putting your painting in a gallery, or having someone look at your painting, you want them to keep your eye, you want their eyes to stay on the, the the painting itself. So you can create focal points, and but this here eye stoppers are they could be other things too. Let's say we have an ocean scene, an ocean scene. Let's say you could use rocks here and there so 
So let's say that's your ocean. And some clouds. Some rocks. If you put these smaller rocks around your painting, let's say, the eye will go to these and dance around the, the painting. That's more exciting to look at. So using eye stoppers can make your, your paintings look really interesting and keep the attention of your viewer on your, your canvas and your painting, your artwork. All right, so I'm gonna do um, a small painting, small sketch using eye stoppers to I pre uh, made up my little canvas here with some tape. Okay, guys, so these will be eye stoppers in my painting I'm doing here, and I'll just turn up the music and uh, we'll we'll have some fun and just do a quick sketch of some eye stoppers in the painting that'll keep the viewer looking at your canvas.